Hi, Lex from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be, I need some help from fellow YouTubers. Now, the boot is on the other foot now, because usually I give loads of advice to everybody else. But on this particular occasion, I need some help with my um, questions, because I've looked on YouTube and I've looked at many, many different YouTube videos, and I've never really found the answer to one of my questions. And I'm improving my... Uh, solar system now from the emergency backup and I'm going to improve my system by putting a 4.5 kilowatt power mister um, inverter and that's 4.5 kilowatt and, I'm, and I've got two solar panels 450 watts so it's going to be 900 watts so basically because of the amount of amperage that's going to be going through from the battery to the inverter you need some very very thick cables for instance, I've got one battery power mister and I'm going to get another battery because it's a 24 volt system. Now, because it's a 4,500 watt inverter being fed from a 24 volt battery system, the number of amps that are going to go through this cable is 187 amps. 187 amps is the maximum amperage. So, Look at this, the size of the switch that you're going to need to be able to isolate this. Everything is big and chunky when you're dealing with power coming from the batteries to the inverter. Now it has to be because of the, the amount of amps that are going to go through it. Now this, I bought off Lazada, it's a 50 square millimetre cable. Now this takes up to 240 amps. I always believe in by better and higher than what you actually need then then you're on the safe system anyway and um, although the book says 35 amp cable now this is bendy flexible cable which is great because this is what you want you know because I'm a neat person I like to have it neat and uh, some of the videos that I've seen all the cables are going everywhere I don't like that so I wanted to be able to cut my own cable to length and bend it so it so the whole installation looks neat. So, I bought this cable. It is welding cable and it's very flexible. Now this is supposed to be 50 square millimeters as well. Now if you look at that, this is, I think the battery cable, but this is 50 square mil, and that's 50 square millimeters. It doesn't look as thick and chunky. It's got a little bit of maybe thicker insulation than it is on here, but it looks much more of a chunky cable. And I've taken the, the uh, heat shrink off there to have a look at the connection. And that appears to be a really, really good connection. But like I said, I wanted to make my cables bend and look neat and that as opposed to buy pre-made cables um, where you know they might be a bit longer and I don't want that. So I bought this, this cable here and I got five meters of it. And it's very, as you can see, it's very, very flexible. Now, welding cable is more expensive than, than battery cable. But of course, when, when I bought the cable, I also ordered some of the lugs. Now, this is, um, it's got on there SC50 size 8, and that's what I wanted. Now, if I put the, the 50 square millimetres, and this is supposed to be 50 square millimetre cable, put that on there, it just rattles around. And um, I know there's different types of lugs, and uh, but that is too big and I've actually because it's 50 square millimeters I crimped it up on a 35 millimeter um, crimper and even that it just pulls straight off so I bought some 35 square millimeter and that actually fits nicely on the cable that one won't because I've, I've crimped it but it just pulls off. It just pulled off no problem whatsoever. Now if we have a look at that cable, you may be able to see that okay on there. That's the size of the cable that's in, inside there. So it's many, many strands. So welding cable has a lot of strands and this 50 square millimeter, but this is a 30 square millimeter lug crimped with a 25 millimeter crimping tool. And this is the crimping tool that I bought, again, off Lazada. Um, and I, th I thought it might be that, okay, 
it might not be okay, but I'll give it a try. It was, it was only cheap. But this goes all the way up to 50 square millimeters. But because it's electric and this, uh, the amount of amperage, that fitting has to be really, really tight. Otherwise it'll arc and it'll cause heat and it potentially could catch fire. So I am looking for what the solution is because on the lugs, this tells you it's 50 square millimeter cable on a um, eight centimeter hole for the for the lug. I bought that to connect the two batteries to make it 24 volts. That's why I bought that size. I bought these these sizes because um, when I was reading through the book on the inverter, it said 35, but it's I just want to go that little bit higher. I'll never ever take it to the maximum four and a half kilo, uh, yeah, four and a half thousand watts. I'll never ever take it to that. So that size would work for me. But I used to be an electrician in the UK, and I always decided, no, I'm going to go 50 mil, so I have room to play with. So the question is, to people out there who do crimping on uh, these cables. 35 millimeter lug goes on there and I know the lug's going to say 35 millimeter on there but this is supposed to be 50 square millimeter cable so what is the solution <coughs> what am I doing wrong um, I'll listen to any and all advice with regard to this because this has to be correct this has to be right the lugs on there have to be very very tight so it doesn't cause any arcing and it doesn't cause cause any heat but I'm impressed with it with the flexibility of this cable 50 square millimeter cable but I've got five meters of it so I bought enough because it was cheaper to buy five meters of this than to buy each one of them I, I could have got another one of them three or four hundred baht I think that was and five meters of this welding cable was the same price as one of them maybe it's two of them so, I'm asking for help. Can you help me? Can you give me some advice? Very much appreciated. Short video, I know. But thanks very much for watching.